Hello everybody, my name is Professor Gator. Welcome back to the channel today. It's been quite a while uh, since we uploaded our last video here on the channel, but we are back today with a brand new series today. We are going to be playing Pokemon Crystal Legacy. This is one of the creations of fellow YouTuber Smith Plays Pokemon. And he just did an absolutely phenomenal job when it came to modernizing Pokemon Crystal. Uh, so this game is, while it is technically a ROM hack, I view it as more of a modernization of the Crystal that we all know and love. Um, he just, it's just such a phenomenal job. He did a great job documenting his process, his thought, pro like his process in making this ROM as well as his thought process that went into ev all the changes that he made. So if you haven't checked out his channel already, make sure you do so. I'm going to be leaving a link to that down in the description down below. Go show him some love and... Uh, so that way, when he comes up with his next game, which is actually going to be Pokemon Yellow Legacy, you are there ready to download it when it comes out. I think that's going to be one of the games that I play next, um, just because I feel like like he puts just so much time and effort into these and really does a great job. So hopefully when that comes out, we'll be doing a Let's Play of it. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into this game. So I'm actually running the first patch of the game. I'm not running the more recent second patch, uh, which does have some updates. However, when I tried to download the patch, um, it crashed after I started up the game. So I ended up just uh, booting up the old version that I had that I knew worked because I play tested it just to see what the game was like. Um, and we're just going to start with this and it's still a great update even without the latest patch so somebody's wondering why it's so dark out because it's nighttime when i'm recording this uh it's professor oak hello sorry to keep you waiting welcome to the world of pokemon my name is oak people call me the pokemon professor that is true this world is inhabited by creatures that we call pokemon and it's whooper gotta love whooper man shiny whooper too i love Sh shiny whooper i've got Shiny Pelt A Wooper and Shiny Regular Wooper. They're so cute. I love <laughs> People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with their Pokemon, some battle with them. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. Yeah, well, I wonder what games are going to be next. Can you give me a hint on that? <laughs> Probably not. There are still many mysteries to solve. That's why I study Pokemon every day. Now, what did you say your name was? Of course, our name is Gator. Because this game does not have the space <laughs> for more than seven letters in your name. So we're just Gator. Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. I'll be seeing you later. All right. So let's go ahead and get started with this. We start off in good old New Bark Town. Gotta love this place. They do such a great job. Oh, Gator, our neighbor, Professor Elm, was looking for you. Your gear is back from the shop. And we got our Poke Gear, which is just a phone. <laughs> a very modernized cell phone for 2001. <laughs> the day of the week isn't set. You mustn't forget that. It is Thursday. Yes. It is Thursday. Yes. I hit the B button by accident. Alright. Is it daylight savings? Yes, I think so. Yes. By the way, do you know how to use the phone? Yes, I know how to use the phone. <laughs> that was it. Phone numbers are stored in memory. Perfect. Wonderful. Let's see. What do you have to say? Good evening, Gator. I'm visiting. Gator, have you heard? My daughter is Adam about becoming Professor Elm's assistant. She really loves Pokemon. Good for her. Good for her. All right, so let's change the text speed. And then we're gonna change the frame. We're gonna go with frame number four. I think that's perfect. It's a great frame. So you can kind of tell what, what one of the updates is here already. And it's, we have the ability to run technically. So, oh, and move faster. So we can kind of zoom around New Bark Town with the running shoes that we automatically have, which is great. Uh, but let's go ahead and get our first Pokemon here. And if it isn't obvious already which Pokemon we're choosing, then you obviously don't. You haven't paid attention to the channel. <laughs> Gator, there you are. I need to ask you a favor. 
I'm conducting new Pokemon research right now. I was wondering if you could help me with it. Yes, of course. Thank you. You're doing your great help. When I announce my findings, I'm sure we'll delve a bit deeper into the many mysteries of Pokemon. You can count on it. Oh, hey, I got an email. Hmm, okay. Hey, listen. I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. It is intriguing, but we're busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. You can go in our place. What's So what is real? What do we get to go get? We get to go get something cool, I guess. You'll be able to choose the Pokemon as your first partner. Huzzah! So, of course, there's Cyndaquil, the fire Pokemon. We have Chikorita, which is the grass Pokemon. And then, last, but certainly not least, we have Totodile, the water Pokemon. I think it's a great Pokemon, too. Totodile is great. And we have chosen him for our first Pokemon here in the run. But our run has not started yet. So, veterans of previous videos will know that we always nickname our Totodile line Pokemon Richter. So Richter is here once again with his custom animated sprite, which is great. Mr. Pokemon lives a little bit beyond Cherry Grove City. The next city over is almost a direct route there, so you can't miss it. But just in case, here's my phone number. Call me if anything comes up. So we got Professor Elm's number, which I'm surprised we didn't have if we were helping him with a lot of stuff before, but, you know, whatever. If your Pokemon's hurt, you should heal it with this machine. I'm counting on you. Alright, so let's go ahead and see our friend Richter here. Ooh, look at him. He does the little dance. Oh, so cute. I love Totodile so much. Such a great Pokemon. Like, seriously, one of the best Pokemon. Like... Easily the best starter. Sorry, not sorry. Gator, I want you to have this for your errand. We got the potion. Perfect. And there are only two of us, so we're always busy. Well, I'm glad we can help. So, as we start playing, the changes are going to become evident. There's a lot of changes to the Pokemon that are available on the roofs, as well as um, moves Pokemon can learn, and a couple other things that we'll kind of encounter as we go through the playthrough. Uh, but as you... But we can find Hoot Hoot on this route. And it's good to start grinding now while we have the opportunity. So that way, when it comes to later points of the game, we are not low in level. Uh, but yeah, no, it's, it's very interesting to play Crystal with these updates. Um, I only played till about... I think like the third gym just to kind of get a idea of how this game was going to be um and it just was so phenomenal just all the time and care that went into making this is evident in just every frame of this and you can really tell that um what Smith Plays Pokemon does did for this was really created out of the passion that he had just for making some of these older games a little more, a little easier to play and a little more uh, modernized without taking away the feel of Crystal, which was something that he really emphasized on and I think he just did a great job with. But uh, I also just love Johto. Johto's just a great region. <laughs> um, it kind of helps because Totodile's the starter for the region, so, like, I'm very frequently playing a Johto game. If, like, usually not her gold or soul silver, um, just because, uh, um, I try to keep that save file intact, just because I've done a lot on it. Um, so usually I'm, like, restarting the virtual console games that I have on my 3DS, which, uh, I actually haven't played in a while, to be honest. <laughs> I've been busy, um, as it is obvious to see, as <laughs> I am someplace completely different, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's nice to have my own place, finally, and new job I'm much happier with, and I can now, now that I'm more settled, I can actually, uh, start recording YouTube videos again, and get back into it. 
uh, engaging with the Pokemon community is just a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah. But uh, Scarlet and Violet has finished with its DLC run since I last recorded, um, which I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed the Teal Mask update. I thought Kitakame was probably one of the best and most interesting areas in all of the out of all like the Pokemon like world. Like it's just it's dripping in so much history. Um, it really feels like you're going to like a like a really cool like Japanese like small town with some really ancient traditions, which is really cool to see. Um, so I really just love the design of Kitakame and the Pokemon that you can find there. I think Ogrebron is probably one of my like favorite like legendary Pokemon to come out in recent generations. Um, you just connected with her so so much and they did just such a great job uh but we're gonna heal up richter here so that way he is ready to go when we need him and then we're gonna talk to the old man here your rookie trainer that's okay everyone's a rookie at some point if you'd like i can teach you a few things so we can get the i think we get a mystic water from doing this this is the pokemon center they heal your pokemon in no time at all you'll be relying on them a lot so you better learn about them now, this is the Pokemon. They sell balls for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items. Good to know. Route 30 is out this way. Traders will be battling their prized Pokemon there. And then this is the sea, as you can see. Haha, <laughs> do you see what he did? He's like, do you see what I did there? <laughs> I, I am all in for good fun. Uh, so Pokemon are only found in water. Then this is my house. Here, this is my house. Thanks for your company. Let me give you a small gift. The map card. Oh, that's right. We get the map card from this, not the Mystic Water. I think the Mystic Water is in one of the later games that you get here. I think it's on the island, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but now we have the map card, so we can always know where we're going here in Johto, which is good. Um, as we head up here to Route 30, and uh, we can see... You can see some of the new additions that we have to this game. So Poliwag can now be found on Route 30, which is one of the new encounters. Um, since we have Richter, I'm kind of hoping we don't get Poliwag, um, just because we really don't need two water types on the team. Uh, but uh, I guess like Poliwhirl or like having Politoed in this game, having a Politoed on the team is good as a backup. So. That's the other thing too, like, we'll be able to use, like, a lot of the trade Pokemon if we get them as encounters, because, uh, he changed it to where some of them, uh, the ones that were just normal trades without any held items, uh, are level evolutions, and then the trade items, you just use the items like you would regular evolution stones. So, that's, that's definitely a nice update. Uh, Richter's gonna grow to level 7 after defeating that Poliwag. And he learned Water Gun. That's an, So that's the other thing that's updated, is that the move sets, as well as the learned move levels, have been updated in this game. Um, so he, he, it's, Smith Place Pokemon wanted it to feel like um, things were a little more balanced throughout the game. So you were getting, like, a low-powered move of a, t like, a low-powered move type at, you know, the beginning, and then you were getting a, like, a medium powered move, you know, when you're in, you know, towards, like, the, the middle to, like, oh, close to high point of the game, and then you can get a high level move, um, as the game progresses. So, uh, you'll see that with a lot of Pokemon, um, and then there's a couple updates, other updates, too, that we'll kind of get into when we come across them. Um, like I said, there's just, he just did such a great job with how these updates complement the gameplay that, um, like, I don't want to spoil them, because it's going to be fun to come across them when we do. So, we're going to go ahead and take out this other Hoot Hoot here. And it's a good thing we got Water Gun now, so we don't have to worry about getting our water, our uh, tax load by Growl. But, uh, anyway, going back to our uh, Scarlet and Violet kind of DLC, like, um, thing, you know, with everything was that. Uh, like I said, Teal Mask was great. I did like the Indigo Disc. I wasn't as big a fan of it as I was the um, Teal Mask. Uh, the only thing that uh, Indigo Disc has over the Teal Mask is that, of course, you can catch Totodile in the wild 
for the first time ever. And that means you can shiny hunt Totodile, which I did, and I got two. <laughs> so I, I evolved one to a Feraliator, and then I kept one as a Totodile. So now when the, the next outbreak come, the next Totodile outbreak appears, then I'll be able to uh, uh, get Karkonaw. So that way I have the whole line. But uh, I've been enjoying hunting the starters. That's been a fun. Shiny hunting the starters. That's been a lot of fun. Uh, hello, hello, you must be Gator. Professor Elm said that you would visit... This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. And we get the mystery egg. And we get a key pocket. I also have a special item for you. And we get the EXP share. Um, and the item pocket. I know a couple who run a Pokemon daycare service. They gave me that egg. I was intrigued, so I sent mail to Professor Elm. For Pokemon Evolution, Professor Elm is the authority. Even Professor Oak here recognizes that. If my assumption is correct, Professor Elm will know it. It's good to know Professor Oak has friends. I mean, he's stuck in that lab all day in red, green, blue, and yellow, of course, but yeah, it's good to know he gets out. Ah, so you're a gator. I'm Oak, a Pokemon researcher. I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. Also, I gotta love how his name is Mr. Pokemon. Like, he doesn't have a first name. He doesn't have a last name. He's just... I I'm Mr. Pokemon. <laughs> It's kind of like one of those like joke themes that you give like, oh, Mr. Pokemon over here. Well, that's <laughs> literally his name. I always love that. Jeff has got such charm. Uh, I hear you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon. Let's see. Mm, I see. I understand why Professor Elm gave you Pokemon for this errand. To researchers like Professor Elm and I, Pokemon are, are, are our friends. He saw that you would treat your Pokemon with love and care. Ah! You seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out, see? This is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records the data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. And we now have the Pokedex, so that is half of our needed goals for to begin our Nuzlocke here. So now we just need to get Pokeballs. We're returning to... Professor Elm and Professor Mr. Pokemon heals us up. Thank you so much for doing so. So we're going to start making our way back after we get an alert of a robbery. Oh, it's a disaster! <coughs> oh. Excuse me, apparently I can't do Professor Elm. Uh, it's just it's just terrible. What should I do? Uh, oh no, just... <laughs> Worst game of telephone ever. <laughs> Please get back here now. Really great. Let me know what's going on there. I really appreciate that. So, really appreciate that. And so, Spinarak is another encounter which we can normally get um, on this route anyway. But um, you'll see, uh, depending on our encounter, we'll kind of go over what some of the changes are and why Spinarak is now more of a better Pokemon uh, after uh, well, I guess we can kind of talk about it now so in gens 1 through 3 basically it's not a secret that bug type Pokemon are not good just they're not good <laughs> uh, so one of the many updates that was for this game was that you have bug types that ha just got completely buffed and there's, you'll come, we'll kind of come across those buffs as the game goes on, and uh, you know other types that got buffed uh, were Steel types, Dark types, and Ghost types. Um, so we'll kind of, when we come across them, we'll kind of go over what those updates are, because um, I think it'll just, it just, the updates that he made, that he did, make sense, and made sense. For why he did them and um, just it's it, it's gonna make the game play that much better it's a fruit berry tree it's a berry we got the berry I guess and we got that oh I, we need to stop at the house because there's an item there because everybody mistakes the house for mr. Pokemon's house mm. ah here he is you got a Pokemon at the lab what a waste, a wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Alright, 
so I guess this is the reason that Professor Elm is calling us back. Because this weird redhead kid sent out Chikorita, the weakest of the Johto star. <laughs> to be honest, I would like. <laughs> if I had a Chikorita, I would let somebody steal, just steal it. Just be like, eh. Okay. I'll, have, I'll just say, I'll just say you have to send an extra to it out. Like, if. <laughs> If I was Professor Alba, I'd just be like, <laughs> Just send me two toenails and a cynical. You don't need to send me a Chikorita. <laughs> I, uh, I can't say that. There's a lot of Chikorita fans. I just, I, I, I don't use Chikorita. I, <laughs> I know we used Chikorita and Meganium in our last playthrough of uh, Fire Red, but... <laughs> it's just not a good Pokemon. It's really not. I feel bad. <laughs> Are you happy you won? I actually am. Thank you very much for asking. My name is... Mm. Great. We get to decide. I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. As he runs away, of course. Um, so now we get some money. I wonder if we can buy Pokeballs now that we have the Pokedex? No. We get them after we go back to New Bark Town. Which we will do and help Professor Elm hopefully solve the mystery of the missing Chikorita. And then I think we will get our first encounter here on Route 29, and then we will end off today's episode, which I think this is a good, it'll be a good place to end off. So, anyway, and uh, get some more EXP from the Suit Hoot. Almost to level 10, which is actually pretty good, because that's, I think that's what the Ghibli Beast's level is, is level 10. So we don't have to do that much more grinding for Richter, which is good. But it's definitely not easy to grind in these games. <laughs> Alright, let's see what happened. I heard a Pokemon was stolen here. I was just getting some information from Professor Elm. Well, yeah, he was probably saying, yeah, it was Chikorita, just, I, I just let it, I don't care. I'm not pressing any charges. <laughs> Apparently a young male with long red hair. What? You battled your trainer like that? Did you happen to get his name? We did. We are gonna name him. I want to name him Croc, but that just, like, doesn't, like, typing it out just doesn't look right. <laughs> like, as you can see. I get, I, because it kind of sounds like they're saying, like, he's, a, oh, he's a croc. Um, no, I think we're just going to go with Silver. Silver's still the best name for this character. It's what his, his, his canonical name is. I, I can't think of anything else better than Silver for this character's name. Silver was his name. Thanks for helping my investigation. Ah, uh, this is terrible. Oh, yes. What was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? And we gave the mystery egg to Professor Elm. This! What is it? Is it a Pokemon egg? If it is, it is a great discovery. It's also a great way to get shiny Pokemon. What? Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex? That is that true? That's incredible. He is superb at seeing the potential of people as trainers. Oh, you must have what it takes to become the champion. You seem to be getting on great with that Pokemon too. You should take it to the Pokemon Gym Challenge. Closest gym would be in Violet City. Gate of the road to the championship will be a long one. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mom. We shall do so. Use these on your Pokedex quest. And there we have our Pokeball. So our Nuzlocke run has officially started. And we can begin after we talk to our mom. And make sure it's okay for our 10-year-old selves to leave town to go on this random quest to become a Pokemon champion. They really do a good job of just being like, yeah, you're going to be a Pokemon champion. <laughs> it's definitely easy, eased in veteran later generations. Wow, that's a cute Pokemon. Where did you get it? We got it from the strange man next door who studies eggs. <laughs> so you're leaving on an adventure. Okay, I'll help too. But what can I do for you? I know, I'll save money for you. On a long journey, money's important. Do you want me to save your money? Yes. Because that helps us out and through the game. And be careful. Pokemon are your friends. You need to work as a team. Now go on. 
Yes, we shall work as a team, but first, what we will do before we end off today's episode is we will catch our first teammate. I've seen you a couple times. How many Pokemon have you caught? Would you like me to show you how to catch Pokemon? No, I'm good. <laughs> Head to the Academy in Violet City to learn more. Well, it's a good thing I'm a veteran at this, so I don't really need your help, but thank you, though. Let's go ahead and get our first encounter here. Route 29, and our encounter is... Hoot Hoot. Makes sense, because it's nighttime. And, gotta, man, you gotta love Hoot Hoot. Hoot Hoot's just a classic. Don't kill. Thank you. And it just knows growl and tackle, I think. So, And, of course, we had to get it at the lowest possible level. <laughs> gotta love that. Oh, man, the grind is going to be tough. The grind is going to be so, so tough. <laughs> but we got Hoot Hoot. She is caught. She is our second member here on the team. Appropriately level two. Hoot Hoot is the owl Pokemon. It begins to hoot at the same time every day. Some trainers use them in place of clocks. Uh, okay, so... What is... We're going to name her... Krona. Because Krono, Kronos is time. So Krona is the female uh, version of time. Because she tracks the time. So there we go. We've got Krona and Richter here on the team. They're both great. And they're going to make great members of this team. But if you guys are excited for this playthrough, um, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Also subscribe so you don't miss an episode here on the channel. I'm happy to be back doing this again for you guys now that everything is settled. So we will be having up episodes come out every week. Every so new content is out every week. So I hope you guys will stay tuned for that. But I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a great day, everyone.